In this video, we are going to solve the trigonometric equation in form a sine of x plus or minus b cosine of x equals c by converting a sine of x plus or minus b cosine of x to our cosine of x plus or minus alpha or our sine of x plus or minus alpha. First step. Use the correct compound angle formula to expand cosine of x plus or minus alpha or sine of x plus or minus alpha. Second step. Compare the coefficient of sine of x and cosine of x on both sides of equations to get two equations. Third step. Find the value of r by squaring and adding the two equations. Fourth step. Find the value of alpha by dividing the two equations to get tangent of alpha. Fifth step. Substitute the values of r and alpha into the equation to get our sine of x plus or minus alpha equal to c or our cosine of x plus or minus alpha equal to c. Last step. Solve the basic trigonometric equation. Let's look at the example. Express 2 cosine of x minus sine of x in the form r cosine of x plus alpha, where r is greater than 0, and alpha is an acute angle. Hence, solve the trigonometric equation, 2 cosine of x minus sine of x equal 2, for the values x from 0 to 360 degrees. First step. Use compound angle formula to expand the right side of the equation. Second step. Compare the coefficient of cosine of x to get equation 1. Compare the coefficient of sine of x to get equation 2. Third step. Solve for r. Square both sides of equations and add them together. Factor out r squared. We can use trigonometric identity to simplify the expression inside the brackets r is plus or minus square root of 5, but we chose the positive value, as requested in the question. Fourth step. Solve for alpha. To get tangent, we divide equation 2 by equation 1. Using a calculator, we get alpha equals to 26.57 degrees. Fifth step. Using the value of r and alpha, we can express 2 cosine of x, minus sine of x, as square root of 5 cosine of x, plus 26.57 degrees. Now we are going to solve the second part of the equation. Just now, we have expressed two trigonometric terms into a single trigonometric term. So, we are going to use the results, to solve the given equation. Now, we have a basic trigonometric equation to be solved. Here is an example of finding the maximum and minimum values of the expression a sine of x plus or minus b cosine of x equals c. Express the given f of x in the form r sine of x plus alpha, where r is greater than 0, and alpha is between 0 and pi over 2. Hence, determine the maximum and minimum values of f of x. Find the values of x in the interval from 0 to pi. When f of x is maximum, first step, use compound angle formula. Second step, compare the coefficient of cosine of x to get equation 1. Compare the coefficient of sine of x to get equation 2. Third step, solve for r. Square both sides of equations and add them together. Factor out r squared. We can use trigonometric identity to simplify the expression inside the brackets. r is plus or minus 2, but we chose the positive value, as requested in the question. Fourth step. Solve for alpha. To get tangent, 
we divide equation 1 by equation 2. Alpha equals to pi over 3 radians. Finally, express f of x as a single term, 2 sine of x, plus pi over 3. Now, we can determine the maximum and minimum value of f of x, since f of x is in a single term. Sine function takes the values from negative 1 to 1. So, 2 sine of x plus pi over 3, takes the values from negative 2 to 2. Therefore, the interval of f of x is from negative 2 to 2. The minimum value of f of x is negative 2, and the maximum value is 2. Now, we are going to find the value of x, when f of x is maximum, that is, when f of x is equal to 2. To get x, we have to solve the basic trigonometric equation. Follow the steps of solving basic trigonometric equation.